Bill Mayer made a video about Mr. Beast. And finally, new rule here in the season of giving. Can we at least agree that giving is good? No. I bring this up because one of the more mind-blowing stories of this year was about the internet celebrity, Mr. Beast. Ooh. And how he was always getting raked over the coals for a series of charitable endeavors. Now, if you don't... Yep, kindness for clicks. Mr. Beast and the problem of philanthropy is spectacle. Mr. Beast, world's top YouTube star, takes fire for being a white male. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, bro. Well, we can't all be perfect, right? Holy shit. Mr. Beast under scrutiny again after biggest video ever invites controversy. Mr. Beast is only a good person for views. Oh, my God. Bro, you know why people say this? I'm going to tell you why. It's because there's losers that sit in their mom's fucking house all day, just like me. But they're trying to find out a way that Mr. Beast is doing it wrong. Because if they acknowledge that Mr. Beast is actually just helping the world and being a better person, it obviously begs the question, well, why aren't you doing that? And so the way that they rationalize that they're okay doing nothing is to downplay everything that Mr. Beast does so they don't have to feel insecure about the fact that their life is worth nothing. And it probably never will be. No, Mr. Beast is the most successful mm -hmm. YouTuber ever with True. over 38 billion views. That's right. Feel old now? <laughs> anyway, he takes some of the money made from 38 billion mm -hmm. views and plows it back into doing things like this year, partnering with a group of doctors to provide cataract surgery for a thousand blind people yeah. that restored their eyesight. Yeah, this cool. was a lot of people were very upset about this happening. I remember whenever this happened. This was fucked up that he did this. Oh, huh? Wrong. Wrong, uh, yep, true. He filmed their overjoyed reactions, which to mm -hmm. many made him a performative altruist. That's right. There it is. And this is, again, how much do you want to bet that the person who wrote this article has done nothing of value in their entire life? I think it's probably like a 100% chance. Literal worthless people. A Washington Post reporter tweeted, what truly needs curing is society's view of disabled people. Oh, this, this girl always says stupid shit. Anytime I read her name, it's because something, it's something stupid. She's been doing this for like 15 years. It's not a surprise at all. She quoted, it, yeah, it's just how it is. What needs curing is society's view of the disabled. Society's view of the disabled. Well... So you're saying that society can't see the disabled. So then helping the disabled see, wouldn't that allow them to see? I mean, I don't know. And BuzzFeed agreed, Mr. Beast seems to regard disability as something that needs to be solved. That's right, it does. Disability is bad and nobody should have a disability. That's right. I remember reading that article myself. The person who wrote the article was a moron. And we investigated whether or not they were a moron. And after the investigation was concluded, we were certain that they were, in fact, a moron. <laughs> That's right. This is what I said. Like, you remember back when, I, like, at the beginning of the show, whenever I was talking about that Scara thing, about how losers on the internet live in some abstract universe that doesn't even make sense to the real world? This is, these are the losers. They're the ones that are writing these posts. Exactly. The person who wrote the article was obviously not blind. <laughs> True. Okay, disability is something that needs to be solved. Yep. Of course it is. Somebody says, uh, I did take a course on this. There's a subset of disabled people who regard it as part of them in the same way that some autistic people either see disability as part of them. It's a complex topic. Okay, you're right. So if you think that, then just don't get the change. But like, for example, being blind, like guys, daredevil isn't real, okay? Being blind is a massive disability. Not being able to hear 
is a massive fucking disability. This is something that impairs your life and makes you less of a functioning human. There are things that you now cannot do. I understand that people, it's a debuff. It is a debuff. And there's no way that it's not a debuff. You can you can come to terms with it and you can think that that's part of your identity. But it is a disability and it is a downgrade. The only times where it's not a downgrade are in fucking superhero movies. That's just it. People are living in a fantasy world. And what truly needs curing is blindness. Here's how I know this. It's like having resurrection sickness. The newly yeah, cool. sighted people are cheering. Yeah, they're happy. Booing, because Mr. Beast, whoever the fuck that is. What do you mean, whoever the fuck? Shut up, Bill. Shut up. I'm so sick of this old, this old fuck sitting here on TV doing this shit. Shut the fuck up, Bill. Everybody knows Mr. Beast. Come on, just because he's on the because he's not on a TV show? Who the fuck watches TV? <laughs> Jesus. You just cured them and you didn't do shit. You know the expression. True. True. Bill's an asshole, but a lot of times he's right. You know, it's like this guy, there's like between two and five times a year where he makes a video and he's the only person saying it. He's the only person, and I love it. Like, those two to five times a year, I'm so excited. Shit or like go me? Blind, yeah. You didn't either. True. I didn't do shit. True, true, true. Oh, yeah. I, I don't get the woke. They love nothing more than being a victim, except when they really are one, and then they tell you, I am not, go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Get, th get this, uh, last month, Mr. Beast, in another dick move... This is to talk about the wells in Africa, huh? ...funded the construction of a hundred wells. So he's trying, to make the, uh, he's trying to make the Kenyan government look stupid. Oh, a white guy comes in here and he can solve all their problems. Oh, typical, right? Yeah, wow, how fucked up is that? Across five countries well, I remember in this. Africa to provide clean drinking water to half a million people. Yeah. Good thing, right? No. Not bad. Good. Bad. Bad. <laughs> the founder of a charity called Face Africa called it kind of frustrating that overnight this person comes mm -hmm. along who happens to be a white male figure with a huge platform and all of a sudden he gets all of the attention. Well, that's because he built a hundred wells. You see how that happens? It's crazy that they're actually just racist. Isn't that just nuts? That, like, it, it's not even... Like, for example, like, I'll see some shit like this, right? And I don't mean to, like, divert. But, like, there's this video I saw today. And it was this guy. And he's at the... He, this is, like, in Poland. Bro, what? He comes... He, bro. Bro, he just shuts down Hanukkah. This guy says, no, man. Like, the act just blows it the fuck out. <laughs> Look at that. It's like we've gone all the way where people are now just fucking racist. And it just is what it is. Yes, but... Uh-huh. But you know what else is frustrating? Dying of thirst. Yeah, I could see that being problematic. I wouldn't know because I don't live in Kenya. Mr. Beast, how dare he come in and bogart digging the wells? Yeah. That's so white guy. Always taking fresh water and shoving it down our throats. <laughs> Oh. And I love how it's always, and another really big factor is it's not our throats. You've got to keep in mind. Because the actual people that are affected by this are tremendously grateful. They absolutely love Mr. Beast. They think he's the, like the greatest person ever. You know what Mr. Beast made me realize? Is like growing up, I always thought the story of Jesus was bullshit. 
Because, like, there's no way this guy just comes in and he's helping everybody out. He's doing everything. And, you know, they just decide to fucking crucify him for what? Like, what the fuck? Why would people do this? And then now I see this happen. I'm not saying Mr. Beast is Jesus, but I see that th that strain of humanity. And it's like, holy fuck, I bet they did cross, I, I bet they nailed them up to the cross. They're like, oh, you think you could do it better than us? Oh, let's see how you could do it on the cross, you son of a bitch. And they stab him. That's what I think happened. I, I just, I don't even know how this happens. But there's like an element of people that are like that. I've never, because like, you can think about this abstractly, right? You can always make an abstraction of something and think about it on a theoretical level. But then it's another thing to see it in action. Jesus cured blind people? Or Lazarus, what was he fucking dead or something? Now he's alive? Nah, bro, put him up on the cross. String him up, let's go. Uh-uh, nope, uh-uh, nope. We get, let's get him the fuck out of here. Another thing this asshole did in Africa. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> True. <laughs> was pay for the rebuilding of an African orphanage, which the director of the Hope and Homes for Children uh -huh. charity called it a classic case of white saviorism. <laughs> how many years until ever, how many years until being racist is like, um, it's like maybe you could have it on like dating profiles. It's like, which people are you racist against? And to make sure that you like match with other people, it's like, oh, we really don't like white people or we don't like Asians. Okay, well, yeah, let's put these two people together. Maybe they'll get along. I think we're getting close. I'm thinking, guys, I'm thinking racism is coming back in a big way. So true. Ask any orphan to name the worst part of their life. Show offs. <laughs> Please. Please. We should be celebrating having dead parent. Hey, it didn't hurt Batman. Oh, true. <laughs> true. Think about that. And remember, again, they live in a fantasy universe. There it is. It's, again, fantasy universe. Somebody says racism never left. You're right. People have always been racist. But here's what the difference is. It's the same as furries. Furries used to be ashamed of it. They used to have the social awareness to know that they're fucked up and they kept the fursuit at home. Like back in the day, I would tell somebody about furries and they'd be like, there's no way that's real. But nowadays I tell somebody about furries and they say, oh yeah, I know somebody in my class that comes to class in a fursuit sometimes. And so like racism is going to be the same thing. Where, like, people have lost all sense of shame and, like, uh, fucking cultural accountability that they just are fucking insane and they're totally out with it. They're like, yes, I'm the crazy person in the village. Now watch me make a helicopter with my dick. And that's it. They just put it out there. Furries are never sober. What? I mean, fuck. That's probably an improvement. <laughs> Witness me. How, how, how did we get to this what about weird Fuda? place? Yeah. Telling people who No, are no, 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 bro, because this is the thing, right? I went and I watched Emmy and Tectone doing a stream at the anime fucking convention. And I've been to these fucking conventions before. And I swear to God, 10 years ago, nobody was walking around with a body pillow asking Je uh, Jessica Meowry or whatever the fuck to sign it. Nobody was asking her to step on them. Nobody was doing this. And now people have lost their fucking minds. People have body pillows. It's a real thing. They're getting them signed. It's totally, like, fucking off the charts. Like, I've, I've been there 10 years ago. I'm there now. Body pillows have gotten normalized. I swore to God. And like, can you sign my body pillow? Holy fuck. What are you going to do with it after that? Can you believe this? It's insane. Don't you have a body pillow? Yeah, I do. But that's different because somebody gave it to me. It's on the floor. It's not on the bed. But that's the whole point. Bring back shame. It's not that people don't have shame. It's that... It's that people don't have shame. That's actually exactly why. It's exactly fucking why.
That's exactly it. And and you saw this, right? You saw this shit. It look at this. Let me see. Can I find any anime expo twenty twenty three? Are these any good? Let me see. Oh, here here it is. Let's see if we can find any here. Oh, wait, wait, no. I gotta get a picture of the crowd. Oh my fucking god, look at that. At least there's no body pillows here. I'll have to find more of them. I'm sure I'll have to find one of them here. They're selling them even here. I think that's a body pillow case. Oh my god. That's too bad. There is one? Okay, I'll have to find it. I, I'll have to find some different bookmarks for this to prove it to you guys. But you remember, I went to these anime and these conventions before, 10 years ago. I've been to them. And nobody was going around doing that. Now it's normalized. It's nuts. You need a case for your body pillow? Well, yeah, so if you get the, the pillow stained or dirty somehow, uh, then you can just replace the case. You don't have to replace the whole pillow actually out in the world making a positive difference you're the problem yeah, yeah. Um, quick question who the fuck are you exactly <laughs> true 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 and, some loser and uh, this isn't only the media yeah and the people on twitter who exist to bitch that's Always all they exist something for. He just did it for the clicks. For yeah. the wrong reason. Sure As I said, they're always looking for a way to devalue it. Because again, most people's criticism and opinions come from within themselves. Most people don't have ideals or principles or thoughts. Most people are basically just animals. And because of that, the only thoughts and values they have are things that reinforce their own existence. So the reality is that most people only think this stuff and say certain things because it makes them feel better about their own reality. They're NPCs, they are. I'd say it's a good like 20, 30% of the population. Functional NPCs, probably more. Done more or sooner, whatever. You suck, signed X. Yeah. No, no. It's depressing. That's a lot. No, th th this is this is it's also the National yeah. Institutes of Health, which last year proposed to amend their mission statement to exclude the word disability, saying it quote could be interpreted as perpetuating ableist beliefs that disabled people are flawed and need to be fixed. You hear that? That was an actual laugh. Because that was the first actual funny thing that's been said this whole time. We didn't need a laugh track for that one, did we? ableist beliefs that disabled people see you hear that no laugh track needed for that one are flawed and need to be fixed <sighs> let me people really lost their fucking mind huh people have really people have really gone off the deep end take this moment to go on record Some Folks, if if I am ever struck blind or deaf or paralyzed don't Please. praise me. Fix me. Yeah, true. Don't. Don't, don't sit around talking about how much I'm just as good as you. Fix me. Do something. Use AI. Invent something. Steal body parts. They'll be able cemetery. to do that. Yeah, sure. Why not? Steal stem cells from a frog. Whatever it takes. Gene sequencing, robotic eyeballs, harvesting clones, inject me with hamster platelets. Grow I like that. Ball bladder from impossible meat. Just do something. By the way, same. Technology is amazing. Science is great. I love it. It's incredible. And the stuff they're able to do now, they can 3D print organs using like flesh, flesh tissue is absolutely incredible. And I think that we live in the greatest time of, like, scientific evolution that we've ever had. And we are so lucky to be alive. 
<laughs> and if I catch on fire, you also have my absolute permission to Put piss on my ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there's that, too. You know, there's, there's so much faking this time of year between oh, the presents yeah. you don't want to buy and the presents you didn't want to get and the yeah. goodwill toward men that lasts until January 2nd. Uh -huh. I just don't have room for, and disability is awesome. Yeah, it's, it's just ridiculous. Awesome. And it's not a political affiliation. That's the problem. We turn everything into a political identity category. You're That's very true. This has been a problem for, I would say, like 10 years. And there's even companies that become political, right? Some companies are this politics. Some companies are that politics. It's so exhausting. I can, I can only imagine what it's like for a European to hear about how Bud Light is political. It's like, oh, fuck. Oh, they're doing it again? Jesus. Oh, God. Yeah, and so, th so then they said they had who as a commercial? Right. And then, because he's, yeah. Uh-huh. It's just, like, insane. Beer and politics, yeah, it's, it's nuts. Pe it, I don't think people even realize how insane it is. Deaf, that's your identity. Don't mess up a good thing by hearing. <laughs> When uh, Adele lost weight, she was excoriated for betrayal. To, to who? She Don't idolize Adele's weight loss. Do you know who reads that article? Hey, hey, do, do we, does anybody know who's going to read that article? Fat people. <laughs> That's what it is. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows that. I'm a little bummed that Adele lost weight. Adele relieves backlash from weight loss, says some fans felt betrayed. Man, we really need to have like a meteor show up pretty soon, don't we? Something like that. We really got to have a, there's got to be something that, that needs to happen. It's really something. Afraid the unhealthy? <laughs> the woke have even turned the homeless into a political identity group, as opposed to liberals, old school liberals, who just want to get them off the street. Yeah. Which now is seen as kind of judgy, like. <laughs> no displacement, eviction kills. Don't disturb them in their natural habitat. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're just they're just living their best life under the bridge. Oh, this is nothing, bro. Like this is nothing like, bro, in Austin, like we got the homeless pill people, bro, they're playing Fortnite. I'm telling you like they're building they're building some crazy ass shit. They got tents on top of tents. They got all kinds of stuff going on. I remember uh, d during COVID, like, I posted a picture of, like, one of the encampments that they had made. I was like, damn, this is crazy. And somebody go, you know what somebody goes, they say? They say, why aren't they wearing masks? They say, like, all these homeless people living uh, underneath, it's the, it was the bridge. I'll let y'all know. It was the bridge on Lamar. Like, if you know the bridge on Lamar, under that bridge, you know that they were popping the fuck off there. And somebody goes and they say, yeah, but why aren't they wearing, like, that, that's, that's bad, man. They're not wearing masks. That's kind of problematic. Bro, yes. Yep, exactly. Tented towers. <laughs> oh, my God. And, like, they just sat there, right? They didn't really do anything. So nobody really complained. Like, uh, kind of closer to my house. There's, like, a, a place where there's, like, three blocks on the sidewalk. You know, like, the cinder blocks, how they're, like, segmented out. There's three of these cinder blocks that the homeless people have taken over, and they just live there. And this is just acknowledged by the police. It's acknowledged by the community. And everybody else just lets them sit there, and it's not a problem. So, yeah, I've, I've dealt with this for a long time. And I've seen this a lot. 
The woke think the number one job is to protect homeless people from stigma. Mm -hmm. I think the number one job is to protect them from rain. Yeah. Speaking of which, when I did the ice bucket challenge back in 2014, I oh, thought yeah. I was helping the cause of funding research. To Damn, cure I forgot ALS. all about that. Wrong again. <laughs> An op-ed in Time magazine said the ice bucket challenge even seems to be suggesting that being cold, wet, and uncomfortable is preferable to fighting ALS. What? Oh, God. Well, the funny thing is that, like, the ice bucket challenge was supposed to simulate the impulses that you receive whenever you have ALS. That was why they did it. That's why it was an ice bucket challenge is because it was supposed to simulate the sensory impulses that you got whenever you had ALS. I remember this because this was an internet thing that happened 10 years ago. I remember everything about it. It was suggesting no such thing. What is wrong with this country that so many people can't be happy for anything for even a second? Ice bucket challenge? America is more ready for the can you shit on something good challenge. That's yes, all they do. It. That's all they fucking do. This is a Bill W. This is a big Bill W. I'm glad to see this. Thank fucking God somebody else who's in mainstream media is calling this shit out for what it is. There's the video right there. That was amazing. I hope he does more like this. This is so good. Oh my God. That's not American, so that's regressive culture everywhere. Well, you're right. It definitely is. I don't really understand what the culture is like. Um... I, I don't know what the culture is like in, for example, like Japan or like China or uh, India or Saudi Arabia. I don't really get, I don't understand what their problems are, right? But like, I think this is a, a, a it, it, this is a Western culture problem. It is a massive Western culture problem, and I don't think people know how to solve it yet. Yeah, this is a great video. I fucking love this. The people that are complaining about Mr. Beast is the saddest fucking thing I've ever seen. The saddest, the most pathetic thing. The Overton window only moves left? Well, I don't know. Like, that's what I said, man. I think racism is coming back in a big way. Now, I think that it already has. Yeah, bro, like, people are just being racist nowadays. Like, I remember back, like, five years ago, whenever somebody accused you of being racist, and you said, no, I'm not, I just see things for what they are, some other bullshit excuse. Now, you tell somebody they're being racist, and they're like, you're goddamn right! You're goddamn right I am! It's super common now, haven't y'all seen this? Like, I'm not the only- I'm not crazy, am I? No, okay, good, yeah, I, I'm glad, alright, so I'm not the only person here. Thank God. Racist against white people? No, I think it's it's other white people. Bro, let me tell you something. Like, if you ever see a Twitter account with, like, a Roman or a Greek statue, you are in for some serious racism. Like, that's where, that's where statistics get brought up. That's where it's like a, a tweet thing, and it's like a thing that, like, you know what I'm talking about, right? Like, those Roman statues... Bro, <laughs> that, that nice 1600s racism? Yeah, they're bringing it back. Ooh, they're bringing it back in a big way.